So hi, like I'm Christina, like I'm currently the PhD from University of Waterloo and happy to be here today sharing our project A Miracle, where we have the multilingual information data set across a continuum of languages. So this is me and my amazing collaborators, Nandan and Adnayi, who's also here today, and Isang, David, Xiaoguang, Ching, Maddie, and Jimmy, who's our supervisor. Um, so Mirko set his background on mountain, uh, on information retrieval, where that like given a query, like the retrieval system are supposed to find the relevant documents in the form of a ranked list um, from a huge collection like containing billions of documents. Um, so like usually the research in retrieval like focus on English, which makes sense because it is the most widely spoken language like in the like widely used language in academia for both the communication and publications. But it's also true like there are still like English is not the only language in the world, right? So there are still seven thousand languages out there, and like over um five billions of people like never spoke English in their entire life. So and that motivated that motivate us to do the multilingual information retrieval where that the query and documents like they can be in any language than just than english so say here the query and the documents are both in telugu which is an indian language and specifically for this setting where the query and documents are in the same language like we call that monolingual retrieval and this is in contrast to the another common setting where it's called like cross-lingual and the query and documents are in different languages. See here the query is in Telugu, whereas the documents are in English. So this is in the future plan of Miracle, but for the current version, like it is only um, the data for the monolingual settings. Right. And next for the Miracle data sets. Um, so this miracle is expanding on Mr. Tidai, which is like which is in turn um, expanding on Tidai QA data set. And that has a like a large a large enough training set to train the dense models and like current like state of our retrieval models, and that covers eleven like very diverse um diverse like um different languages. But still, like there were some issues with Mesa Tidai. So the first one is um like due to the way like how Mesa Tidai constructed their relevant passages, like there were some naturally missed unlabeled positive passages. So how did that happen? So say here we have an query and how like Tidai was constructing the, the positive passages is that it go through the Google search and then it will return a list of Wikipedia articles. However, only the first article will be selected and be used to find the relevant passages. So like the they will break the Wikipedia article into like several um several passages and like given to the human annotator to find the relevant ones. So like which are the like it answered the largest animal here is uh is the blue whale. But just as we can see here, like the second or the third or like even more Wikipedia articles, like they're also likely to contain a small small snippet that also provide the answer, like which is the blue whale. But like these parts of the passages are naturally ignored in the Mr. Tide um construction. And the second issue we're having here is that. So as we just men mentioned, Mr. Tide have like 11 um, diverse languages, but like also like they might be too diverse. So say here, like 11 languages belongs to um, like um, 11 totally different language subfamilies and nine different language families. So this is a good thing when we want to examine the generalization ability of a model. So say like the model, if the model is performing like very nice across all the languages, like we know like this is pretty reliable. But like this is uh, making it hard to study the transferability between the uh, like cross-lingual transferabilities because like all the languages are just too different. So we can examine the relation between the language similarity and like their like transferability to another language. Yeah, so to solve that, like, we are trying to add another seven languages in Miracle, which are at least similar to one of the existing languages. Um, so that's the issues, and this is how we expand on Mr. Tidai. So starting from the existing languages and like the existing queries as shown like there, and the like these are the existing judgments. So the first thing we do is like given the existing um queries, like we're adding more um labels like ju uh, judgments to like more more documents, and for the new languages, so we first generate new questions like which we'll talk about details very soon. And of course, like giving them the adjustments to like a like a similar amount of documents as well. 
and also like since for the existing languages like all the data are public but we want to create a private testing data set to like for um like easier fairness comparison so like we're constructing new queries and of course the new judgments and so having all the human annotations ready um for the existing languages like we keep the same training and dev and test split um as the same with Mr. Tidai. And for the new created questions, like they go, they all goes to a new private data, like which we call test B to like distinguish from the test A from Mr. Tidai. Whereas for the new languages, like because we don't have any existing split, so we just do a random like like split them into the training and dev and test. Right. And as a result, like we see Miracle having like over 700,000 human annotations, which I believe is the current largest one, like the, the largest monolingual retrieval, like based on human annotation. And this is to compare with the our existing options, which we don't have the training data or like they're expanded to other languages through translation, through machine translation. Or like it is synthetic at all, like with have no human annotations um, at all. Right. And about how Miracle is prepared. So for all the languages, we started from Wikipedia and split um and segment that into the like into the passages, where the passages are basically a natural paragraph in like in each Wikipedia article. And at the same time, um we're sending the first hundred words into something called prompt. And this is used to give our annotator to inspire them writing a question or like query that is relevant to the prompt but cannot answer by it. So this is to ensure like the questions are not like too biased to the personal experience of all the annotators. And so these new queries are sent, uh, like we're pre preparing the candidate passage for, for the new queries and existing missed queries, like using an example of retrieval system. And like these candidates are sent along to our annotators along with the queries. And so that they can like label like if this is relevant or like irrelevant. And the same time, like we're trying to um, like reuse the existing judgments in Mesotidae by projecting the positive passage into Miracle. So, um, so to do that, like we're using BM25 to prepare the top possible candidates. And the rationale be behind that is like this, um, like in this way, we're likely to get the Miracle passage, which has the largest lexical overlapping with the positive passage in Mesotidae. Right. So now about the competition. Um, so we have two tracks in the competition. So one is non-language and the other is surprise, whereas the non one has a training set and the surprise is only for the zero shot settings. And specifically, like, because all the message title language, like they're public, so they goes to the non-language and like they will have a, another special test A set, like because like inherited from Miracle, uh, from Mr. Tidai. Right, and these two tracks are separated into two phases. So start from early October, like we released the training, the dev and test ASAP for the non-languages. So this is the time for the teams to do the, um, like to set up the, the pipelines and start testing the, uh, start to test the systems on the dev and test A. Like the leaderboard is open like all through this time. And for the final 11 days, like we released the surprise language data and the test B set, which are used for the final evaluation. So as a result, like we receive like almost 500 submissions, which is like, we're really happy to see. And they're from like quite diverse team, like 40, 46 from the first phase and 27, like join the final competition. And we're also happy to see that like these result, like these submissions are not just random submissions, but like they're actually performing um, better than the baselines. So the plus here, so like for, we provide two baselines for like using BM25 and MDPR. So which are the representative from the sparse model and the um, the dense models. So like they're showing here as the horizontal lines. And basically each bar represents the average NDCG 10, like which is our final met metric um, for each team. So we can say like even in the first phase, the depth set on the non languages, like over say like 70% of teams, like they are already doing better than the baselines. And this is even more like even more true um, for the final rounds. And so this is on dev set, and of course is the same on the test A and the test B sets. And also like thanks to the large number of submissions we're having, it's also a nice time to examine the like the quality of Miracle itself. So 
like that's our uh, mostly in two points. So first, like for the existing languages, because the dev set and the test B set are not like are prepared by different teams, like different time, right? So we were actually not sure if the dev set will be a nice indicator for the performance on the final test B. So this is the first point we're trying to examine. And for the second point, like we're having two tracks where the non-languages having the training set and the surprise language do not. So like in our initial guess will be that like some teams might have like doing a very nice job on the non uh, on the non languages, but like they cannot be generalized well on the surprise language. So we're also like interested to see if this is really the case. Um, for the first question, so here um each point, um represents a team, whereas the x and y axis represents their scores on the DAV or the test A or test B sets. So we can see like a pretty um strong, possibly near correlation between the two. So this is saying like the dev set is not only uh, like a nice indicator for test A, which is like as expected, but also um the distribution from the old data and the new data, like they are actually aligned. So like you can trust the quality of the miracle. So this is on the non-language and like is um pretty much the same for the surprise languages. Then for the second question. So it is the same, like we have each point like representing a team and this time the X and Y axis are the scores on the non-track versus the surprise language track. And this is actually also to our surprise, like we see a like strong um, linear correlation between the two. And this is to say like when the teams have better performance on the non-language which have the training, um, have the training data, they're also likely to perform like better on the surprise languages, like at least on the overall trend. And only a few exceptions we see is like when the score gets too higher on the non-language, like there's uh, a more, like more likely to be like overfitting there. Um, like by overfitting, we mean like have a comparatively um, worse performance like compared to like the better times. Yeah, so um, this is pretty much about Miracle and like the presentation from winners will be this afternoon at 1.30, so be sure to come and like listen to their awesome talks. And these are where you can find Miracle and like where you can find us.